One thing Omale and Victor have in common is how clean their vocals are, especially with the vocal reverb effect, or what some people call echo. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to get the same effects, the same style for free in FL Studio. And of course, hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Now, before we get into this process, I assume you've already cleaned up your vocals, okay? I assume you've EQ'd it properly, if you some compression, all right? And if you do not know how to do that, you can watch some of my videos where I show you how to EQ, compress, and treat your vocals properly. But if you've already done all of that, your vocals are already EQ'd and, you know, balanced already, then you can move ahead. The very first step is we need a free reverb calculator. You can just hop on Google, just type free reverb calculator, okay? So any reverb calculator will work, okay? We just need something like this. So we're going to type in our project and point to the reverb calculator, okay? The reverb calculator is totally free. Just type in 100, okay? Then hit calculate. So you can see we have hall, big room, small room, tight ambience, and we have, you know, different... Um, parameters right here, different numbers, which will come in very useful shortly, okay? So we're going to keep this tab open, but we'll keep it aside, all right? Now, the next step, we're going to create two reverb sends, okay? We're going to have a long and a short reverb send. So we'll just come right here, right-click, and empty inserts, okay? We'll name this short reverb, and then we'll name another one long reverb. Now for step three, we're going to load our plugin, a reverb plugin, okay? We use the Fruity Reverb, which is free. It comes with FL Studio. We're also going to load it right here. Again, Reverb 2. But in the long reverb, we're going to have a sidechain going on, okay? So we're going to use Fruity Limiter so we can sidechain the reverb so that whenever the vocal stops playing, that is the main vocal stops playing, the reverb fills up the space, okay? Making it sound, you know, cool and interesting. Now, for step four, while looking at your reverb calculator, all right, you can see this big room preset right here. That is parameters for big room. We're going to dial this into our short reverb. Then for the whole reverb size, we're going to dial it in for our long reverb, okay? So I'm going to look at these numbers. If you observe, it says pre-delay, 37.5 milliseconds, while decay, 2,300 milliseconds, right? So it could also be 2.36 seconds, okay? So I'm going to just open my reverb for the short reverb, okay? Then dial in the processing. Make sure you are on the correct track, okay? So we'll come to where it says pre-delay or delay, okay? Then we'll just dial it in 37. You may hold control so you can go to the exact number or go pretty close, okay? The next is 2,362 milliseconds, okay? So... We just go about 2.4 because if you approximate to the nearest number, it's like about 2.4 seconds, okay? Then we next want to have the room wide, all right? They want to have the wet at 100%, then dry at, you know, 0%, okay? And then we're going to do the same thing for our second reverb, that is for the long reverb, but we'll use the hall preset, which says 75 milliseconds. If you look at it right here, it says 75 milliseconds for the pre-delay, while the decay is... Um, 4,725 milliseconds, okay? So I'm going to come right here, 75. Then for the decay, we're going to use 4.7. So after that, I'm going to increase the size, okay? And take it the wet to 100 again, then reduce the dry. Now for step six, we're going to head over to our lead vocals, okay? Then we're going to send it into the short reverb by clicking this um, wire or this arrow right here. So it sends it in, okay? And in here you can dial it in. So I recommend you dial it to about, you know, 10 to 30%, okay? So let's see how it sounds. To my kokoro, se me kasampu yo ikebe, manade kwe tete. She no come to play. Oh baby, come to my cockboro. Say me a sample yo ikebe. Madon de we tete. To my cockboro. Say me a sample yo ikebe. Madon de we tete. If I turn it off, if I turn up the reverb, this is how it sounds. To my cockboro. Say me a sample yo ikebe. Madon de we tete. And when I turn it on. To my cockboro. Say me a sample yo ikebe. She no come to play. Oh baby, come to my cockpit. 
before we head into the long reverb, there's a couple of things we'll do to make our reverb sound more interesting, okay? So we're going to come to our short reverb. We're going to load up an EQ so we can cut the low frequency, all right? So we're going to use a high pass type, high pass, order, step eight, dial it in, let's say about 200 hertz. And I can boost the high end a little bit. Alright, so now we're going to head into the long reverb, okay? So we're going to go to our lead vocals, okay? Now send it into our long reverb. So this side sounds going to sound really crazy. So we have to control all that ambience, okay? And that's where this limiter comes in. You just come to compression, okay? Right click the side chain, lead hook, okay? So we dial this all the way down, dial this a little bit, a little bit, okay? And then we're here. You can hear it's like the reverb is trying to come back up, but the vocal is suppressing it. So we don't want to sound, you know, that excessive. Okay, so we're going to reduce the send. So if I solo it, you can hear all that ambience, right? So we can still do the same thing, use an EQ to shape the reverb some more, okay? High pass. Step eight. So you can also reduce it some more. Sensation, oh baby, come to my cockboro. Send me a sample, yo, EKB. Man, I'll dig with it. She ain't no come to play. Oh baby, come to my cockboro. Send me a sample, yo, EKB. Man, I'll dig with it. You can hear that reverb tail, right? That's why it's called long tail reverb because it stays, you know, longer. Now for step seven, we're going to look at how to use the reverb on the back of vocals. And then there are so many ways you can do this. You can use it as a send still, but I prefer to load it directly, okay? So I'm just going to come right here to the back of vocal. This is the chain for the back of vocal. Remember, you have to make sure you have done the proper AQ and compression, okay? Then I'm going to come to where it says reverb. So I'm going to use the whole preset right here. That is this parameter, 75 and 4,700, okay? So let's see 75. Can hold control then 4000 that's 4.7 seconds so we're going to make this wide okay now we're not going to take the words a hundred percent this time because this is directly on the back of vocal so we're going to adjust this gradually okay and then first it also has a mix knob right here for each effect so it also makes it easier for you to dial in the amount of effects you want okay so let's listen <laughs> Let's increase the reverb. Let's take out the pretty lay and see how it sounds. 
Man on the way to the She ain't no come to play Oh baby come to my cockboro So make a sample your hike babe Man on the way to the So let's reduce the volume of the vocal a little bit To my cockboro So make a sample your hike babe Man on the way to the day She ain't no come to play Oh baby come to my cockboro So make a sample your hike babe Man on the way to the day so you can see how that sound right so let's load the vocal and see how it sounds again so make a sample your ek so make a sample your ek and when i turn off the reverb so make a sample your ek so let's hear it all sounds together with the reverb on. To my cockboro, so make a sample your EKB. Man on the way to the she ain't no come to play. Oh baby, come to my cockboro, so make a sample your EKB. Man on the way to the she ain't no come to play. Oh baby, come to your EKB. Man on the way to the she ain't no come to play. Oh baby, come to my cockboro. So this is pretty much how you get that same effect. Now, how much you use it depends on you. Okay, you may want it to be a little bit more excessive or a little less in your vocals. How you do that is up to you and your creative taste or the style you want for your song. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful and it gives you the results you're looking for. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorials, tips, and tricks. This is Essie Toots, I remember her classy. See you soon. Cheers.